Today the church celebrates the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Jesus Christ, which is also known as Corpus Christi. In the first reading from the book of Genesis, we are introduced to Melchizedek, whose name means my king is just. The relationship between Abraham and Melchizedek is one of blessing and mutual respect, having bread and wine as its main symbol. Abraham, being chosen by God, is blessed by Melchizedek, who offers a strange sacrifice, not a bloody one like the priest of old, but one of bread and wine. Recall that in the Old Testament, the old priests used to sacrifice animals, but Jesus establishes a new priesthood where he sacrifices and gives of himself. In the second reading, the Apostle Paul reminds us of the meaning and the strength of the Lord's Supper. He ensured that when we celebrate the Holy Eucharist, which is an authentic Christian tradition, we find the meaning of salvation. For in the Eucharist, Christ gives us his body, the same body that hung on the cross, and the same blood, which was poured out for the remission of our sins. In the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist, we find Jesus fully present in his body and blood as soul and divinity, which is why it's so important. It is the center of the church, the lifeblood of the church. And by celebrating the Eucharist, we do what Jesus commanded us to do, to do this in memory of him. In the gospel, Jesus is presented as a compassionate shepherd that healed the sick, taught about the kingdom of God, and gave food to the hungry. And today, Jesus continues to feed us as his people, his very sacrifice of his body, which we celebrate at every Mass, and he continues to nourish and empower us. This Sunday, which is dedicated to exalt the goodness of the Lord, who nourished us with his body and blood in the Eucharist, reminds us to also await the glorious return of our Lord Jesus Christ. I also invite you in a special way to pray for our priests, because without them, the greatest miracle that we have, the most holy Eucharist, would not be possible. Without them, that bread does not become his body, and that wine does not become his blood. 